Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm gonna continue with step 5 uh, actually continuing from what we uh, stopped last time after we create uh, architectural uh, uh, form or the mass, the main mass of the snowflake tower and also the surface uh, for it and before we go to this uh, very quick slide that I prepare I wanna just to refresh your memories that uh, last time we just stopped after if you remember in step four when we did the, both the architectural solid part of the building and the shape or the sorry the skin of that shape or that building and now we need uh, to actually you know get something benefit out of what we've done so we really need to understand that uh, we either go and make slabs or uh, you know make a facade design or uh, whatever whatever possibilities that we can get from what uh, what we actually did so far and that's like just quickly summarize what we've done in the previous four videos that we did a parametric plan outline for all the floors which is can be shown here in this part those you know to the 2d shapes and also we make the crown which is also a parametric plan outline but it's rather like a 3d line rather than a 2d line that runs in through uh, the same uh, the same plane but this guy just goes uh, jumping up in the Z axis also so the crown plus the parametric plan give us the surface but the accumulation of this guy the parametric plan gave us the solid part or the architectural form of the tower all those guys together and we can get for example dynamo slices uh, in both cases horizontal and vertical cuts and I will show you in this video specifically this guy. You can get uh, rivet plans, we can get rivet sections later on. We can uh, go for adaptive component or making a skeleton or whatever other possibilities we have. But specifically in this video, I'm going to talk about making a horizontal slice and slice that to make uh, a geometry like uh, slabs or like uh, a layer cake model. Uh, so that's the first thing that comes in my mind. I just like googling the laser cutting geometries like uh, uh, run through the internet and I get those a couple of pictures for you so the skull here and the, the dinosaur whether it's cut it's been uh, uh, with a slice vertically or horizontally as you can see for the same almost geometry so you can slice that geometry or that surface or whatever the form you have to get this vertical slice or you can do the same thing with a horizontal uh, horizontal perspective or horizontal layers getting this like layers or like cake model whatever you want to call it like this layer model uh, that made out based on cutting this geometry and then accumulating them and uh, you know gluing them uh, same thing here in, in architectural school we use this for landscape uh, contour lines uh, that's uh, make more sense for me as an architect and you can see that's uh, the entire geometry of the building is just made out of you know those slides the curve has been changed into you know a horizontal plane cutting that curve and then the resultant shape has just been simply extruded and then cut out of the same board the cardboard that we have and then just glued to each other to get this result a little bit more uh, uh, you know like uh, application for it when we have like a vehicle uh, design so this I think uh, uh, Lexus and you can see the, the inside of the car entirely be modeled and then uh, applied by uh, you know a layer cutting uh, method out of uh, a horizontal sorry a vertical uh, plane that they run through it and they just glued that to get a very complicated uh, or very nice actual way of presenting the the main design you can also do like a sampling like taking one two three four five six samples of those vertical and horizontal uh, layers and to get this type of modeling which is again lots of uh, lots of architectural uh, building now is based on having this method uh, apply to uh, you know to, the, to their designs it's just like he just the designer picked that gap between x and y the specific let's say three or four meters and then he modeled the entire uh, structure out of that so back to back to uh, back to dynamo actually it's uh, very easy it's uh, I, I actually designed uh, designed a special note for that 
and I'm, I'm going to dedicate an entire video to explain it. But have a look. This this guy in here, which is I just have it as a pre-made custom node. Uh, it's just like whatever I call it. It's a form to slabs anyway. So form to slab is just a basic node. And you can see it's just have an input uh, made of uh, or the requirements for the slab thickness, which I just fitted 0.3 and the total building height. And I just took that, uh, if you remember, by A multiplied by B, which is the floor height multiplied by the overall, uh, or actually the final number of the uh, floors we have, which is uh, 57 to get something like uh, 20, sorry, 285 meters. So that's the overall height of the mass, if you still remember our mass. So I'm just probably going to show it out of the preview. So, yep. So that's, uh, oops, it, it's, it isn't what I wanted. That's the surface, actually. So where is my mass? That's my mass actually. So for the for the architectural form. So if I you see this, if you remember. So what we end up is this guy. That's what we have end up by accumulating those uh, uh, parametric plans or parametric outlines. So this guy you can slice it here as I've done in Dynamo, just by applying this node which allow us to slice this model ver uh, horizontally by using a, a plane that move in the z-axis and uh, you know, generate a slab for each specific thickness which is basically here an 0.3 uh, meter the total height of the building I took it from the Dynamo that uh, the main Dynamo file that uh, we was working on by multiplying uh, 57, which is the number of the floors, by the height of the floor, which is five. So we get here uh, 200 something, as I show you. The height, the level height, I just took it. It's five. It's from uh, from, from the file itself, and the final thing it's needed is just to select the the form. And you can see the uh, you know the horizontal slice, but unfortunately, for some reason, Dynamo is just recalculating everything. I don't know why it's doing that. I know it's saying not responding. I wish it's not being crashed on us in here, but I'll just leave it to calculate. The good thing that I uh, and opened uh, another copy from uh, of Dynamo actually in the in the background here to show you the other possibility, but. Anyway, the, the result will be like just a, a slab with a 0.3 uh, meter uh, that we have seen in the beginning of this uh, video. Anyway, while it's doing that, the other possibilities is to generate, the other possibility is actually to generate the, the a full solid, uh, a full solid layers of those and instead of having gaps between them, you can ask this node, which I basically here connect to the smooth curve instead of the just the solid. I, I applied that. I have a change a little bit. You remember the the crown thing that I did in here, which is uh, the surface. I just took that as a copy and give it to the solid, and I make a solid out of that. So probably if I preview this, wishing it isn't gonna die. Okay, like the one before. So you see that's uh same thing, but instead of making surface, I make a full solid out of it. So that solid, I just slice it with my node uh, form to slab. And it's uh, I use 5 meter for each uh, actual slab thickness, which is the same number for the level height. So it's actually making uh, like boxes or like uh, an extruded slices of this each five meter and it's, it's kind of awesome and you can go ahead and uh, model that in any type of uh, laser cutting machines or it's, you, you, can even, you can even get the slice if you want uh, the 2D profiles and send that to any AutoCAD or uh, any, other, uh, any other software if, if you want and I know there's lots of software and Autodesk can do that for you but you can also use those geometry to continue modeling on them in Dynamo or in Revit as a conceptual masses instead anyway so that's uh, that's one of the effects and uh, you can uh, just simply 
do this by applying again uh, the form to slab node and it's again it's a custom node that I prepared I will show you that in, uh, in a specific or more details in the next video in a couple of hours and again it's need just the slab height the total height of the building it's a level height and uh, a selecting form or the solid that you need to uh, slice it uh, horizontally you can apply the same thing and you can design uh, the same thing this work only on horizontal so you can design your own uh, custom node that do the same thing vertical based on uh, the same concept that I will explain soon anyway back to this guy which is for no reason at all calculated the whole thing again which I didn't tell her to do see now it's it's the same thing it's it's um, it's five meter height I just took the five meter height out of if you remember this uh, here the floor height and it's just for the solid architectural form so I didn't apply it for this crown part so when I apply it I added a 0.3 for the slab thickness getting to have this results so it might be useful for you if you still continue you know modeling the building that's that represent the slab of the building actually you still want to model the entire building here in dynamo because you want to make i don't know a clash detection uh, uh i have no idea what you want to else do for that making an opening for a shaft uh, calculating the beams i have uh, on the columns i have no idea what we can go uh, more exploring this geometry but you can substitute that you know by simply sending this geometry overall to rivet and make the rivet slice it for you instead of dynamo slicing it for you but if you are actually in an intention to make a 3d slab this tool will be really uh, awesome tool and you can you know use it uh, to do the same job you can just increase this to give it the same height as the floor height and you're going to end up by having the geometry that uh, I just show you in here and uh, anyway that's all for uh, today sorry for that uh, long break that I have for the Christmas holidays so from now on I'll try to you know speed up the the exercise and try to get it to be done and finish as soon as possible showing you uh, in the next couple of hours how to do this guy the form to slab it's uh, again very easy and very simple uh, custom node it's good exercise for you to have this node uh, at your own and uh, exercise it and practice using it in your own project uh, thank you for watching and I wish that you find that useful have a good day and bye bye